sometimes you can see things, but when you see them, you don't actually see them. I've been out to the graveyard bunches of times, putting flowers out on my mother and father's grave, some friends of mine, some other relatives. And I've seen this before, but I didn't see it. You know what I mean? Something just didn't click. I knew exactly what it was, but something wasn't clicking. So we'll take a look at this. This is an obelisk. An obelisk like the Washington Monument. An obelisk like in front of the Vatican. An Egyptian obelisk. And it's in the, it's in the cemetery. So what I did is I walked up to it, and I was wondering why is this obelisk in the cemetery? And I noticed it had some uh, engravings on each side of it down here. <clears throat> a couple of them I recognized right off, and a couple of them I didn't recognize the inscriptions on them and the symbols right off, and I'm going to have to check in on that and see what they actually were, so I'm going to show them to you. And I'm just walking up towards it. And it's the same... Same structure as all the other obelisks, stone obelisks. And you can see the first one we're looking at is the Freemason Square and Compass. Now someone could probably say it has this on there because stonemasons are the ones that did the work to put it together and place it. We'll discuss that later on. This is one that I did not recognize. So I will have to see what this one exactly is. I don't believe I recognize this third one either. or what the letters inside stood for. But I definitely recognized the one on the final side of it. And you should recognize it too. It's a pentagram. definite pentagram. So I wondered to myself, what is this doing in the cemetery? The Freemasons are not a good group of people. Stonemasons is what they were originally. They were just a bunch of stonemasons back in antiquity. But along the lines, they were taken over and morphed into what now is Freemasonry, which is Lucifer worship. And they do dabble into the Kabbalah. Well, I shouldn't say dabbling because it is used heavily in the practice of Freemasonry. I mean, it could be anybody. It's a secret society, you know, as far as what they do in their meetings. It could be doctors, lawyers, judges, cops, athletes, you name it. Any walk of the profession of society. I'm just stepping backwards here to give everybody a good total overall look at it. Kind of shaky because I was walking backwards so you could see it. And there it is. And I've got to make some phone calls. A phone call. 
to the director of the cemetery because I'd like to know the history behind this obelisk as such when it was placed, who constructed it actually, and where did the money come from to place it, why are those inscriptions upon it, I want to pick his brain and see if he'll tell me anything. There's some other things out there that I'll probably shoot some video of, but this is the largest of all of them. So, we're going to come over here now. And this is from the Cutting Edge Ministry. It's a pretty condensed, detailed um, writing about Freemasonry that you can you can pretty well get the gist of Freemasonry. And if you did your homework, you'll find out that the, what they're saying is pretty true. Um, I had a little bit of a shock. My sister and her husband, she's been married to him about three months now, came up for a visit. And I was describing to them the, what I had saw at the cemetery. And I just happened to mention, uh, well, I didn't, I didn't say it until he responded. Her husband responded when I mentioned it had the compass and square of the Freemasons. And he said that he was one. And so we began a brief and uh, ended up becoming quite a heated brief conversation. Uh, I basically said they were Luciferian and they worshipped Lucifer and they practiced Kabbalah. And uh, he basically shot back on, at me and told me I didn't know what I was talking about. And then he told me he was a 32nd degree. He was one shy of being at the level of supposed enlightenment and the revealing of secrets not revealed to levels below 33. And that's what I told him. You don't know the whole score till you reach 33. And then 33, there's a whole bunch of stuff revealed to you that is not revealed to the levels below them. And what they basically do is, uh, right here it even says, uh, superior Masons deliberately lie to their fellow Masons. And then 95% of the Masons pretty much don't know what's going on, really. And uh, you got, uh, you know, people that they hold in high regard, you know, Albert Pike, Morals and dogma. And you can see Lucifer is praised as a light bearer. And Lucifer, we, we have to remember, we talk about the devil and stuff, but, but you have to really think he was the top angel that God made. He was the most, and I'm not complimenting by saying this, but I'm just saying. He was the most powerful, gifted with most powerful powers. As far as the way he looked, if he could be considered beautiful, he would be considered beautiful as an angel. Everything that could make him superior over all angels created after him, he was supposedly the top dog, Angel. So when we talk about fighting evil and the power of darkness, we must remember that this leader, the king of hell or whatever you want to call him, he is very powerful. So this will reveal many things to you. You will have the, the link to it. And you can understand um, why the Bible talked about witchcraft and not to practice witchcraft. And different things it said about witchcraft because Kabbalah and casting spells and calling up demons is it's witchcraft. There's your depiction of Baphomet. 
There's your pentagram, which I just showed you. It is out on the marker at the cemetery. There's their compass and square. Quite a lot of stuff you can read here, and then it's a uh, very thought provoking, or I'm hoping it will be to you, so you can understand more about the things that, that definitely do go on. <coughs> Excuse me. Because it is totally. Controlling the world. It's, it's not just totally evil men and evil women. Evil itself. It's all working in conjunction. But they practice something. They're just not like born evil. They become evil. And then they get into their Satan worship and through ever what outlet they choose to, to get into it. Anything that's not of God is against God. Now I have another little one here. We can look at this. And this is just to show that in my own town, they do have a Masonic temple. I don't know anybody locally, and I'm moving in the pickup, and there's traffic behind me. I didn't stop and get out and, and take a long view, but you can see Masonic Temple, and you'll be able to see the numerical engravings on it. So it is going on inside my own town. I don't know where you live, but there's more than likely a Masonic temple in your town. And a lot of people, you know, the lower levels below 33 that don't really know until they reach that level, it, it, it's whatever it is to them that they think that it is. If they're not outright Satan worshipers, Lucifer worshipers to begin with, then it's like Howard coming coming in on happy days. They just think they're a member of a some type of a club. And we have the Knights of Columbus. Uh, we have the Shriners. We have the uh, for the women. We have the Order of the Eastern Star here and everything. So they are practicing this witchcraft. And they're all over the world. It's just not specifically located in America. This is going on all over the world. It's a continual fight between good and evil, just like it's always been. It's ever since the fall of man in the Garden of Eden. Ever since then, it's always been good versus evil. It's always been God and his side against the devil and his angels. God and his angels, the devil and his angels. And we have free choice. We can be on God's side, or we can choose not to believe in him, and believe in anything else but him. And when we do that, we're on the devil's side. And I'll tell you right now, the devil's side is the losing side. And you don't want to play for that side because this is not actually uh, playing a game. This is determined your eternity, where you're going to end up for all eternity. You want to be with the guy that created you. You don't want to be with the demons that are going to persecute you and rip you to shreds and laugh about it and enjoy your soul being in hell with them. But masonry is not a good thing, and that's what I wanted to bring to light.